Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and I am the owner of Seasons Best by Risa. So today I have a few orders to be packaged up and shipped out. So I decided to take you guys along with me on the process. So right now I'm just getting ready. I'm getting all my items together so that I can cut my vinyl that's going to be pressed onto my sweatshirts. So the first thing I'm doing is getting my vinyl ready so that I could get it onto my cutting mat. I'm looking at the sizing that I think I'm going to need and I'm just eyeing it and cutting the amount that I think would be appropriate for the designs that I have to cut. Once I have the design cut, I'll go ahead and put it onto my cutting mat and I'll go ahead and roll it over so that I make sure I get all the airs or all the bubbles out of it. And then I go ahead and load it into my lock click cutting machine. Once the machine is finished cutting, I'll remove the cutting mat and peel off the vinyl and then I'll get ready for the second design. While that design is cutting, I decided to go ahead and weed out my first design. This is my God Save Me design. So I just went ahead and took my time and weeded it out, making sure that I didn't miss any areas that needed to be weeded. And here's the final result. I also went ahead and weeded out my second design as well. And then I also cut those up into four pieces. Once I have my designs ready, I go ahead and move on to my heat press machine. Before I started, I made sure to lint roll the sweatshirt really good. And then I also went ahead and heat pressed it so that it would remove any of the moisture that was in the shirt. Here you see me aligning my designs. I'm making sure that it's straight and that it's even on both sides and also even from the top. And then once I think it looks good, I went ahead and pressed that design. Once the design is finished pressing, I went ahead and took it off the heat press because this is a cold peel. So I had to let it cool before I could peel off the protective layer. And here I am peeling that off and it's really coming out looking really nice. I really love the pink on pink. I always make sure to go in with a second press just to make sure that I'm sealing the vinyl into the fibers of the sweatshirt. That way I know that it will not come off when a client or a customer washes their sweatshirts or dries their sweatshirts. Next, I move on to my next design. This is my God is greater than everything design. I really love this design. It's super simple, but super cute. And I really had like a fun time pressing this design. The process as you just saw is really the same. I'll lint roll the sweatshirt really good to get rid of any lints. Then I'll heat press the shirt to remove any moisture. Then I move on to measuring my designs to make sure that it's centered and in the middle. I press that design. I will take it off the heat press so that it can cool. And then once it's cooled, I go ahead, remove the protective layer and give it another press. So when I started my company, I didn't really know which direction I wanted to go. I named my company Seasons Best by Risa because I know that that would allow for me to be able to work on a multitude of designs. But after doing this for a month and looking at other designs, I definitely think I do want to focus more on Christian and worship designs. I don't know, for some reason those are resonating with me and I feel like that is the direction I need to go in. 
because look look at these designs they're just so cute and i am just absolutely in love i made sure to go ahead and print out the labels and organize everything so that i knew which labels went with which products and then once i was done i moved on and packaged up my items My packaging process at the moment is pretty simple. Right now I'm putting my sweatshirt into a clear cellophane bag just to protect it from the elements in case the polymer rips. And then I will go ahead and put a little thank you sticker on my bag as well. Here you see I'm packaging two orders so I do put them each in an individual cellophane bag and then I go ahead and package those in the pink polymailer. I'm currently in the process of upgrading and rebranding my packaging process, but at the moment, this is what I have. So I'm just gonna work with what I have. And yeah, just stay tuned for the upgraded packaging. And if you're new to this small business world, just keep in mind that everyone has to start from somewhere. You don't have to have everything for you to start, but you do have to start. So at the moment, this is what I have and this is what I'm starting with. So if you are thinking about starting a small business and you do not think that you can afford to start right now, my honest opinion and my honest recommendation just go ahead and start it's literally never too late and work with what you have and trust me if your design is good and your marketing is good you will be able to get sales But yeah, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.